Good day, viewers in radio and TV land. Put them together and you've got the glorious internet. Well, everything's just a click away. Now, we're on um, the old ranch. Um, I forget what I'm actually calling it, but um, I decided to uh, show you this. Uh, I pulled this, this one apart. You can strip it down. Um, uh, the Yo Ranch is the same as Walker Palm. Uh, I've got a thing about Walker Palm if you want to watch that one as well. Um, but I'm trying to, like I said, we've got no Australian maps and that out there, so I'm trying to Australianize some of these. Um, just with the build itself. Like we, cool, I'll, I'll give you a run through. We're doing a little flyover with a little sand castle here. So we've got um, a cucumber. We have uh, a tomato, like here. Um, so we'll be putting some manure and, and water into those. The water's right next door. Of course, we have the bees. Every farm's got to have bees. I put them on walk farm yet, but yeah, you've got to have your bees. Got to actually extract sometime this week. Uh, it's 40 degrees today uh, here in South Australia, and um, it's going to be 40 degrees tomorrow at Celsius. Um, yeah, so she's well, she's warm. Uh, so yeah, I'm basically Australianizing that, but. It's just, um, there's the American flag, you know, um, because it's an American map, original. So we've got Stuart, the dog, he's running around the yard here, uh, we've got him in an old, old kennel here, the same he's going with this beautiful house, this house is the surfy house, um, good for Byron Bay, <laughs> oh, alright Stewie, there you are, pitching out against the wall, but yeah, we've got the windmill, Yeah, it's not really going too well. I'm just straining out back. <laughs> it's got a couple of the fans missing. Right, so we've got the cotton harvesters. I went out and got the DLC for the John Deere cotton harvester for my John Deere farm on Lone Oak. <coughs> That's the hay shed. These, um, um, where are they? Yeah, easy sheds. They're still easy sheds. That's good. Easy sheds. That's the original shed that was here. I've placed all these. There, there was some. As you can see, there was a car park type thing here, and there was some mobile home type things here, trailer trailer homes, whatever you want to call them. Um, the site, this silo was here. Um, I whacked in everything else around here. Uh, yeah, just chucked them all in. Um, I got some uh, the truck the flatbed there at the moment, but I'll be doing some road trains and that through here. Um, these cow paddocks lobbed the other day, so that that original tank and um, the fertilizer that was spray, uh, fertilizer thing was there. Now these um, paddock slobs, and they're for fattening in that um, the cattle. Um, you you don't get manure because um, manure takes up in the ground. You have to just feed and water the livestock. They're like um, um, feedlots, basically. All the manure absorbed into the ground, you get nothing out of that. You don't get any milk in that out of it. Um, they're for the beef raising, basically. So I'm using them for the um, my red pole, um, not red pole, the bloody um, uh, brum that I'm going to be using, the drought masters, I'm calling them. Uh, we've got the red colour only. Uh, this is a little storing shed for the other one. Same meat, different gravy. We've got the old ring feeder here, which is excellent. Um, we've got the water thing. In seasons, you, can, you get the pumps and the automatic pump thing that you put on there. But the automatic pump thing that you put on does not supply the water. It just keeps it at a level. So your livestock does not die. You still have to get water and put it into the troughs. Okay. Um, it's a uh, fail safe for your animals so they don't die. Now this place got beautiful dams and that. This is the she original sheep paddock, um, which we'll probably use later on. I've been Australian farm. Probably got to have some bar lambs on it. Another feedlot over here. This uh, that's what always happens when you put something on these maps. They terraform. But this is the best I could get here. We have the uh, the nag paddock here, the horse paddock. Um, I've had this paddock since it came out. Um, I think I've got this on PC too, but my PC doesn't work, so um, I'm not playing on there. But I'm pretty sure I got this one on. So I'm going to get two horses and put it here, so they're not, you know, they got company, of course. You can't have one away any animal because they're, you know, they're animals. They've got feelings. They've got, you know, emotions and shit. The seed pack, put it in here. Very convenient. Yep. I've, I've got it in wood. Um, 
other farms I don't really use it, but they've got the, the cobblestone. Um, they had the red barn one, which um, I should have put one up by the red barn. They had the red wood. They have um, the uh, cobblestone ones for the, a lot of British maps, and they had the white, um, uh, s what do you call it, plaster wash ones for the European maps. Um, that massive dam there. See, this is why you can't really put place too many things around here because of the, the ups and downs of it. This is your hay loft um, where you sell your hay. Another easy shed here dumped in front of the other shed. These sheds are on um, uh, the Outback on 17, um, which I've got um, that game starting to play. So on 17, so I'll be putting it up as well. Um, yeah, so there you go. I don't know if that harvester was there. So I've got this tank over here, poly tank. Every farm's got to have poly tanks. Um, those ones there, I'd like to get rid of and put the hay bales ones there, actually. So that's more me. Cow, the original cow pen. Right, so the original cow pen, you've got the milk placed in that here. If you do milk here, you feed. Um, yeah, you feed. Water's over here, even though it doesn't look at that, this, this one's more wet over in this area, that's all them. And then you got your manure, the slurry here, so you've got to go through the gate and that around here to collect all that. So that's your original cow pen, here's one of those um, hay sheds, put it there because I had that on my first map of this, but here we go, look at that paddock, whoa, look at this thing, goes on forever. I think it took us four days with four headers and road trains to do it the first time around when it was done. A fellow named Darcy, he was on here. And we actually cut it ourselves. We did uh, all the header work, put it on a worker while we run the trucks down to the silo. Look at the snowy mountains over there too, by the way. Nice. What the hell is that? Firewatch tower? Okay, look at that. Um, yeah, so um, that's what we're doing. We're, we're actually doing it ourselves. Heading a whole lot. Um, I think there's, so, so there must have been two headers and two on um, workers. Yeah, it took us forever. Here's the fire watch tower. Oh, there's the, there's the, um, yeah, the, 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 the wood place. Sawmill, that's him. I'm a lumberjack, that's okay. I forget words because I work all day. No, I don't. <laughs> Beautiful little sawmill, wood chips. Look at that, rustic. Love it. Gotta be rustic. Can I have modern stuff? And there's the fire watch tower there. We can't get up. Oh, yeah. There we go. No, that's it. And of course, you got the shop over here. Over here. There it is. Over here. There's all my um, all my equipment lined up still. My tractors. Seem to have a lot, a lot of tractors and a lot of trailers sitting there. This Wilson's 60 meter. Um, yeah, another solo on that here. A couple of different sail points on the map. There's another one here. Um, this is, I think, maybe dairy and that is as well, I would say, with all those blue bands. Yeah, in Walker Farm, I've got a new um, cow factory. Actually, that will probably we'll put it in here. But it's a more modern map, so. Oh, I made it a modern farm. Was Walker Farm. Look at that. Look at that. Distant farms over there. Isn't that cool? That's what Lone Oak. You know, they, they got some. All those houses started around there where it makes a map. But like I said, you go out the road here. And you got this massive thing, you see. And over here. I don't know. When you're driving tractors and that, you get around this back corner. There's always seagulls. I don't know if it happens now, but in the beginning, when we were doing this paddock, I'd always hear seagulls up there. Like, you will find seagulls in land, with, as long as there's water courses and that, but, yeah. Um, that's the, the corn harvester. Yeah. Corn. I'm not really good at driving these things. Corn harvester. Those little sheds that's under there. Um, that's the reason why I started all this Australian that type of thing those things. As as they lobbed off. They're like the uh, ones that on 
that are on much bigger of course they're the size of the these big sheds here um, on the Aussie Outback map and the Western Australia map they've got the overhangers like this for and half covered type things but they're massive they're huge they come out to about here wide and about yay long you know and um, yeah the big little weeds um, yeah the big big shed so that's what started it's in this mod log for this small shed I went yep that's it I'm getting all the um, easy shed stuff I'm gonna make an Australian map with all the pin sheds and stuff so we're running cattle on this farm by the way exclusively I might do those sheep but that's it this is the farm so at the moment there's nothing happening um, I just thought I'd give you a quick look around here um, we haven't been going for that long, so we'll just run around a bit more. But like we've got a pool. We've got a pool. I was going to put local farms pool on there, but it uh, goes with the local farm. The like I said, the um, the house is, is your sleep point. Oh, Stuart, he's inside today. It's a bit hot outside. Forty degrees out there today, isn't it, Stuart? Eh? That's in real life, by the way. See the spare Ford, good Bay Byron Bay thing. That's Sandy Shores, I think, up on the wall there. Um, whoop. We, we walk around here, but, but yeah, oh, mop bucket mat, yeah, little wooden kitchen, what's that, map up there, can't tell, what the hell am I eating, a little microwave, a coffee machine, I hate percolated coffee, I cannot stand percolated coffee. I mean, I mean, instant. Yeah, I know. I ate as much as you want. But don't leave me. So there we go. Look at the wooden surfboard up. Oh, I'm going to have to get out of here, aren't I? Oh, didn't want to do that. Didn't want to do that. I suppose I'll take the 9 tree or something down to the farm. Because I have to run it down. Yeah, wait. Like, so squeezy. That's it. That's so squeezy. Right. Try to run this girl down there. Alright, you want to have a look at this thing? Alright, look at that. I've got the wide girth, so there's tanks there on the side. Go inside and have a look at it. I'm looking at the interior. Nothing exciting up the top. Get some tunes. You can put in the radio thing when you're road driving. Only limit, uh, limited edition thing. See, on PC, I'm pretty sure there's a radio station that you can get on there. I think I've got it added to my um, list. Right, yeah, comfortable seats. All those bouncing around and stuff. I was transporting one the other day from Charwell Farm, I think it is, on the back of the, the Sammy. And my mate was here and I was saying, check the suspension on the seat in the, in the cab. So I was doing a behind shot. And you could like see how we're bouncing now. And I said, check the suspension, man. I'm bouncing around like a wombat. Wombats don't normally bounce around, but I'll go out. Hit a bump. Yeah, he's doing all the fancy footwork there. He's doing the the harvester cha 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 cha. Da -da 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 -da. Gonna get the harvest in. Yeah, check the grass. The grass is nice and thick. So I haven't got seasons on here, we've got um, so we can actually do stuff, harvest it and that good make content. Although Charwell I've a Charwell, I've got um, the female character, she's running the um the uh, the, uh, the original farm, uh, which is the sheep farm. With SF hat and um yeah, so SF hat and, and shirt on. I thought since all the boys are on there, all the guys that do all the channels are on there, and they're going to have a you know, gameplay with Clutch Simulation, um, FS19 News, um, Virtual Farmer, uh, Lancy, of course, um, I think, um, I'm not sure if Oxy Davis, David's going to be there, I don't know if Bill's going to be there. But they're all going to have a, a multiplayer play on that map. 
Um, I, I got both the, um, the dairy, like the, both cow farms, and sold the other farm, but you can't get rid of the house, which sucks. So there's a little farmhouse right next to the dairy farm. I, I come and use it, made it mine. See, on the pig farm, straight across my workshop, there's a house right on the actual wall of the actual one of the barns. That first house there, you can open up the garage and put your cars in it in there. Like if you got your personal car on it, you can chuck it in there. And um, yeah. So that big dip there when I put that bloody thing in. Um, yeah. Terraforming shit. I didn't have it on 17 just pumped me on. And if you go on to um, well, if you go on the Walker Farm put them in there. Um, you just chuck the things down and you don't have to terraform or anything. That's a good thing. Well, it lasts. So, I suggest everybody go and do it. Make your own map, like this map here. You take everything off, sell it all, and then start from scratch. you got to watch the slot count. I did some cheats and put 5 mil, I think, in this in this farm. Actually, I think it might be a bit more now, actually, to be true. Seems to be a a lot of shit here, I mean, stuff here. So it could be a little bit more. I try to use uh, combination tractors. There's, there's one of my best tractors, my second best tractor. And 6M is the other best tractor. <laughs> I, I run them a lot, like on uh, Oakville Farm. Because I made Oakville Farm a, a deer farm. Uh, Lone Oak Farm, sorry. Lone Oak Farm. I made that a deer farm, but. Um, John Deere I'm talking about, um, because uh, I was supporting the John Deere brand, see, being out 19 and stuff like that, but um, I think I've got a case one started, uh, just case only, no mods, um, yeah, I'm going to start that one up just for the case dealership, uh, Mannings of um, Low Notes, um, as a case dealer, so I'm going to do a case farm just for that for the case guys, and keep it too original for the map. Um, Port Bill, Nuffield and David uh, come along this time in 19, 17 Port Bill, and um, so yeah, um, that's why I love that. That's my American go-to map. Um, people are saying, why do you get this one or the North Pacific or whatever? No, you know, I don't know. This my that's my American map basically. Um, Mocker Farm. I've always loved that the big bud. I never bought a DLC. I don't really like buying DLCs and stuff. I've never got heaps of them on this 19 now. Um, just have to have them for some reason. Um, I don't buy any DLCs for Grand Theft Auto or anything like that. I got my I got my bike one. That was it. I wanted the bike club. That was all I wanted. I didn't want any of the um, other stuff. I can help other people do their jobs. You know what I mean? I just want somewhere to hang out, have my patch, and run my bikes and my Chevys down at um, Toledo Bay. Toledo Bay, so it's a funky thing. But yeah, I'm diverse. Anyway, um, yeah, so I try, I'm trying to make the maps, um, well, I, I, I don't want to wreck all the maps, but this one here is, is deserving of it. It's got a huge paddock span. It's, it's, um, it makes screaming out for design your own map around this map. It's a good map. Big massive paddocks. The way it was laid out, you could run it, but um, nah. I don't want to run a couple of acres. I don't want to run my own farm. Nah. So I just made it my own, um, which is what you can do. That's what 19 is all about, and you can just these maps and destroy everything that the guy's done. <laughs> no, not really. So I, I you know, dag went in at this place of Southern Cross and that. Um, on 17, loved it. It was PC stuff, so me being a console dude, um, don't get a chance to do most of that stuff. Even what? I want to switch off. Put it on order start. Save then. Hurry up. Sorry guys, we just got to... Huh. I think I'll get it right. Um, we'll try.
I'm auto down here. If I'm, why is it on for? What else we got? Fast growth, but I haven't set this before. So I call this way out west. Uh, real time normal. I was going to put that dirt on slow, so it starts with aging and machinery, wear and tear, that sort of thing. Use it for that cheap money. Uh, fuel usage low because it's going to put on faster. So anyway, we'll get, uh, we'll get rid of that. Off, 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 oh, off, off. That's normal, Oop, normal. Plant withering off, crop destruction on, periodic lime. We're going to take off and weeds. Get off. See all those weeds that are in that paddock? So that's us. So thank you very much. There you go. Now. Oh, there we go. We can turn it off. Now, what's this one? Deer. Got one of Jono's trailers on the back here. Kenzie trailers. Yeah, evolution in, in um, farming technology there, guys. With the flowers and everything else that they did over the years. Unbelievable, eh? Shout out to them. They're for the people, see? They are the people and they're for the people. So why have we got that fuck up like that? Oh, I was going to run that like that, was it? Okie dokie. Right, so I'll park her up in here. There's a rack on one of the things I saw where you get the, um, the telehandler uh, coupling for these headers and you put them on the racks. I can't remember what it was, but it was one of that, the farms they had it on the side of their shed. It'd be good if somebody come out with a, with a, a map that had all that stuff all on it. You know, like the, the storage racks and that for your pallets and that sort of thing. And, um, you know, try to use less. Well, like all that junk that you sit around the place, these trailers and that, you know. Um, but that uses up bloody um, slot counts and that sort of thing by placing all that rubbish and that around the place. So, why don't they, um, uh, like, put in the racks, like I said, like pallet racks and stuff like that. I'll leave that there because I might need to get some other stuff from here. This is what I've been running and stuff back to the farm with. The good old girl, lover. I sort of love this truck. It's in garlic. I like garlic for a, for a colour for the truck. Makes all the chrome shine. Oh, the chrome shine, as I said it. Yeah, these are original trucks. The warrior type trucks. There's a sleeper. I love the sleeping cab because um, you know, a lot of trucks have got sleeping cabs. And at night, those light, those um, top lights and that for the sleeper. Oh, oh yeah. Anywho, what am I starting for? Just have to start it. <laughs> Put the max starter in it. Air starter. No, that's what it was. I brought this gear back. But let's put it back on the shed with its mate. Let's sort it around here somewhere. Where did I see him? Where did I see it? Hi, honey, I'm home. Yeah, that rock wall over there, you cannot move it. Which is good in one way, but it sucks in another one. And this pipe is not fold at all. There's a, there's a, is it this one? Yeah. I just want to try something. No, it's not that one. There's a modded one where um, if you go inside the cab and then you do the inside view again, it goes for the actual pipe so you can see it, watch it loading, which is good for, um, for this sort of thing. Uh, so I've got two of them on shovel farm. Yeah, I think so. But I'll put those ones in. I'm going to find out which one it is and use them all the time. They're a smaller harvester, I think. But, um, yeah, I'll do this one. No. So this guy's out here for some reason. Just checking out, the, stumping all the weeds, I suppose. I don't know. I think I just turned it off last time, it kept rolling. It's got gremlins. Oh, that pipe's looking through the wall there. Yeah, 
there'll be gremlins in it. That's right. Watch it. Why is it a gremlin all of a sudden? That'd be fun. I thought that kind of funny. We people at night. Alright. Don't. Don't mess with those. Yeah, you always know when the wee people are at night around. When you're giggling. Because the grass always tickles it. Yeah. Aye. That's how you know they're out there. That's what my granddad said out there. Oh, that's that one. How do I get you? Get out. Get over. Or is it over? Ah, in the club, my darling. There we go, that's probably that one. Oh, it is. Up, forward. Oops, if I hit the right button, there we go. Now it's no longer for the wall. But yeah, tin sheds, club tin sheds, easy sheds. Got that one as my corn planter. Bit of colour. And again, same thing, this is already here, this gear. Colour, colour. You know, you need a bit of colour on your farm. So I've got. Um, Kenzie, um, Ben, no, that was already here. <laughs> like I said, revolutionist man, not revolutionist, but they evolved with the, with the actual machinery. So I think the head's still there. So what's this one? 73, uh, 84, that's the 84 one there, I might keep that. See, some of these things I'm not going to keep, like that track over there, no, not really into track vehicles. But, for the farm, so, uh, actually it's just to show you the map itself, how, how I'm setting it out, the buildings and stuff, it's going to be all do uh, deer run, um, so, when I'm up and running, um, like I've got it without season, so we've got crops to harvest, that sort of thing, um, I'll have these guys, some of these guys planting, there'll be some harvesting, um, there'll be trucks running, so once it's all going, help a lever. This is just a quick look at the actual place itself, what I've done to it. Um, yeah, um, just to show it off a bit, really, of what I've done, how I've changed it from if you know the original, then you. I've kept the original house and that, but um, yeah, because that's suiting for this set for. Theme. The theme I'm going for, um, which is, um, that was, uh, they've got those places there and they've got the animal, animal dealership and that down the road here, I'll go straight down and show you that while we've got the tractor, um, could be if I use a castle, a wee sand castle that will fly to high, I zoom in, so you see how the road's got a camber there, Tips towards the leather box. I love the way they got the uh, the uh, leather box, the American leather box. So he put 44 drums and shit on post. <laughs> oh, look at that little cause like coming from that dam. Oh, this bridge is a bit rickety. Whoa. Hey, you gotta do what you gotta do, eh? Look at that. Churn the water. Feel the boards and that for, to replace the hole. You've got to do what you've got to do. I don't like, I don't like the idea of running a cattle truck across there though. But look at the way the dirt road just continues up there. And it could another farm off and isn't. Hey, Mui. I love that cow. Beyond um, that Chawal farm, they got the Angus static cows in the actual dealership there and um, yeah and they call those black things for the horns those Dexter cattle type looking thing um, Angus in the game there's the shoot there's the use of food I think. but anyway yeah they they had um, they've got all that happening so um, yeah what we're saying there. As is terrible. We're not doing nothing on this map at the minute, just bring all the tractors home. But I thought I'd give you a quick look around at how you can set it out. I just done a local farm one so and I've um, 
done all the tin sheds and that all around that. So I thought I'd better jump across and show you this one. Put this video up. Excuse me. Put this video up as well. And um Yeah, to get some content out there. I haven't done anything over the East break. Um East break. The, the um it's coming up too quickly. Um Christmas break and stuff. Um kids home from school done some fishing videos and that sort of thing but uh, <laughs> I was sort of upside down and stuff as well didn't realise the camera was I was holding it right but the camera actually turned I, I didn't wasn't uh, activating the screen so I didn't know so I looked like a little dork as usual it happens man it happens this happens a lot to me <laughs> I can't wait a bloody camera so there we go. That's nearly a lot. Oh, we've got these beasties here. Um, the dual wheels get more traction. So it's the 84. And of course you can. It's uh, yeah, 84 as well. That's a uh, 8370RT, which is T for tracks. Little exhaust on it. That's for quietness. Got weights out. We've got the um, crop tire things on that that mod there. Just gonna go back one. No, back one. Has got crop tires on it. Got the um, bigger crop tires, uh, like bigger jewels on there. Smaller wear ones there. All different applications. See this this one's got the front end. So three point front end. That one's got weights. I think that one there is a mod. The other one over there, I think is an in game. I'm not sure. But yeah. We try to keep it like this. See the problem is it's too many tractors, man. Why too many? Oh have the colour. And then I've got to make my road train. Uh, for this place, for running the grain on that, out of the big paddock, so I'll have two B doubles joined together. Um, on Mocha Farm, if you see this one before, Mocha Farm, you'll see what the B doubles are on there. I have um, the Warrior truck, um, sort of like blinged out a bit, a bit more chrome and stuff, um, but it will have the B double, uh, double B doubles road train. Um, I could have done a triple triple A trailer and then put the B trailer on behind it. Oh, is it a B trailer and no, the A trailer? Um, could have made a triple like that, but I decided to make a full B double connect to a dolly and then a full B double again. So you might be saying, hang on, how would you connect the B double to the B double? Because there's no trailer link on it. <laughs> Well, it doesn't take a rocket scientist to work out. It's a it's an A A um, Wilson A trailer on the front, uh, on the back of the first one. There you go. Instead of the pup trailer hanging off the back of it, it's got a bloody dolly with a number B double. So it's because it's 36, 36. See, so normally I have the combination of two Bs, uh, two front trailers of a B double, right? Then I'll have that big 60 footer at the back. Uh, 60 meters or whatever it is at the back. So that's the thing. Like, um, I haven't got they haven't got um, tow points on the back of the Load King trailers. Otherwise, I would be um, jumping on the Load Kings. Uh, hang on, I'll just go oh, go back again. That's right. Get out here. Run around the corner and have a look at this trailer down here. You'll see what I mean. That's the like the 60 meter one, Wilson trailer. Look at that, double jumping. So we we have ones the size of the Load Kings and that, but we jump through the back to tip it. So it's full chipper. This is a Wilson pacemaker. Look at the designs on it. Oh, lovely, lovely. All those rivets. I got um, the ones on Walker with stainless sides. You can have black stainless, white, and then the tops you can have, change whatever color you want. This is the standard, which is good. This is um, fine. 
you know, full doubles or anything like that. But there's no two hook. You might say, oh, there's a hook there, but that's that's not a, that's not the real one. It's not the coupling. So you got to put a doll, and you have to get a a trailer. So this is 60 meters. Not 60 meters. So it's longer. That one's only 36, so it's about that much shorter. Yeah. So um, this one here, um, it's got the length. And it goes behind the B doubles nicely because it's the same height. The low kings are a bit higher, which is the preferred one for me, um, in this length. But they haven't got a, a tow hitch behind it, so you can hook the dolly and then another trailer. Otherwise, they have triples of those. Three trailers, two dollies. And um, yeah, the trucks are capable enough for it. The, this, where is it? That, that one there, my go to truck, I love that truck. It hasn't got the souped up motors in that like the Warrior and the um, Hulk's got. But she's my cherry pie. I love this girl. And because um, of a big sleeper cabin, that sort of like nostalgic stuff. It's got the antennas on there, helical whips. Double helical whips, man. It's got CB, has it got CB radio in it? Let's have a look. Let's have a look. Let's just CB, there it is. Breaker, breaker. This one's full of duck. I see in the county, Mountie. Yeah, look at the cab, look, see? Mm -mm -mm. Man, when you spend your, spend your life on the road, with a little, oh, you need a fridge down there, bro. I look at, we've got the drawers under there. Maybe he's got the fridge drawers, got the bowl he's got in them. Ooh, yeah. Yeah, but this is it. You know, you grab your dog, chuck him in the seat, there's an American truck simulator. I've got my uh, station sitting there. Max, and I've got a cat and a dash. Buddy Tom, he's an idiot. And sometimes Shazza sits there, or Mel, depends on which day it is. But yeah, you got, see there, you got the, uh, the trailer brake, the air brake, hazards, speedo on that, revs, hey, there she is, in all her glory. Look at those mirrors, they work. How they cool out there. There you go. I wonder if you can do the horn. Uh, which one is it? That's it. Okay. I have my um, steering wheel here actually. I'll just go across through here. I'm using the controller at the minute, but if I go into here and go bang, I go out, you'll see here that I have my Logitech steering wheel. Got all the buttons and that on the side. Um, so you've got 19 for the attach and that. That's the problem I was having with, um, with the actual. Um, Farm Simulator one when I was playing it with the other um, laptop I got, and then I got this new one. I can't run it for some reason. But the older one, um, I was pushing 19 to connect the implements and that. But what was going on was if you see me when I push 19, it will go to it will go to 21 there. See, bang. Well, what I was doing, 21 wasn't it changed the implements. You see, to, to select. And I didn't know that. I kept pushing 19, 19, trying to pick up the, the header and it wouldn't do it because I didn't select a different tool because I opened it up, you see, with 19. And then I was going, well, I want to pick up the tool. And I thought the thing was broken and I left it go for ages. And then I, I realised that um, when I was watching Mark Armstrong do it in the truck simulator thing, he touched the button and, and to select, I went, oh, that's what I was doing. I forgot to select the bloody thing first. And then hook it up. So I'm going to try Farm Sim again and I'll play my iPhone up then uh, on PC and I'm trying to learn how to live stream this stuff so once I get it up and running I can live stream uh, through uh, YouTube and that through the P um, PlayStation 2 or anything else today. So once I work out how to do that I'll be doing that. So you can all watch it um, as it's up there. You know, so I'm waiting for me to record it and Chuck it up and I can do it more regularly then, on a daily basis type thing. With different ones, you can tell me what you like, what you don't like. Um, like my cousin was saying about breakfast, um, smash up derby stuff. Um, that's great, love it. I want to do something in the truck. 
Fuck the gas bag, man. Get out of here. Let's run this guilt gun already, man. So with with the um, our black sheep modding trailers, the big heavy duty metal ones and that behind this, you know, um, they look the part, you know, the road train triple up trailers, running all the grain, that's why you don't use the usual mobile farm. And um, you used to have these things, the uh, black sheep modding trailers, um, same ones here, what they have on 17. Um, oh, I'm driving off on the road. Now I'm on the right side of America, mate. Even though I'm trying to make this right. Hey, I can drop it, that's what I want. I'm just taking up the car. Um, yeah, so, I'll, you know, you, you chuck pretty long trailers, like they're the size of this thing. Maybe a bit longer, actually. And then the dollies and that. You've got a, a proper train happening there. It's got a long, uh, long vehicle, or long load or something. Long, long load, I think it's got on it. I haven't got a road train, but long load on all the trailers as well. So, um, yeah, she looks good. See my dude turn in there. That's the reason why I went down like that. So, anywho, that's him. We've gone over time, like I normally do. So, we'll go and park this up in the yard. Look at the fan. The cooler in that there. Oh yeah. Look around. Look at those reversing lights. They're good at night too, by the way. See what they're doing. They're a bit wide. Yeah, they got the trailer pack on that for American Truck Simulator and we can buy, um, as Peterbilt will get out, but I want the, um, uh, uh, KH, K100 Kenworth flat nose tra truck. But anyway, um, there's actually a green, on green truck, there's an old movie truck that's called, um, Moving On. It used to be an old series. They've got that truck on there, so I'm going to get the old fella, because they've got the, the R model Mac truck. Um, the blue, rusty old one, um, with a bulldog on it, which the old man comes with that pack, and the same deal, uh, like the same guys that did that mod, so that's who I spot, I've got a cowboy shirt and stuff on, just to change up the driver, um, but yeah, that Mac, beautiful little truck, and I put the 600 motor, I think, in it, so it's had a heart transplant, it's got auto, it's got the, um, um, the shifter liner, um, air, air starting it, so you know, full on air start, it's uh, hard, mate, <laughs> making me want to get on there now, but I can't, but, um, yeah, so, um, yeah, with that, um, the trailer packs and that, I've got, um, a double, double trailer, um, uh, flatbed trailer, so I can just, like, do heavy loads and stuff, out of Nevada, uh, Arizona, uh, up into, what have we got now? I've got New Mexico. Um, I've got you. No, I haven't got Utah yet. Uh, got Washington. I think I've just got Washington. So I got all the states in that, but I just can't plan. So I keep buying the states in that, but I'll get it sorted. I'll get it sorted, and then I'll be laughing. So anyway, that's a lot. Thanks for coming. Thanks for viewing. For those uh, on the on the interwebs. I've got my lights on. I have. I'll turn them off in a minute. But anyway, that's it for me viewers. See you next time. Check out all the other videos. If you can't be good, be good at it. And I'll catch you on the flip side.
Hey, Ray.